touchdown pass of this opening half. Very effective stopping the opposing teams in the red zone. Here's the quick throw, and it's going to be another touchdown team. The third touchdown pass from Jeff George. Get the offense in some rhythm. George with nine in a row. Ten to Tim Brown. Ten straight completions. George down the middle. Caught by Jeff. James Jack will they catch him just in time. Victor Green gets him out of bounds inside the 20. George just gets underway. Dropping back. Throws to the end zone. It is caught out there for a Raider touchdown by James Jack. What a catch. Greg Papa on the ticket 10.50 a.m. George back to pass. Fires down the field. Caught by Dudley inside the 10. Beats a man. Ball. Touchdown, Dudley. Second and goal, Jeff George, pressure off the middle, they pick it up, throw to the end zone, touchdown, Ricky Dudley! They gave his field goal, 12 to 3 pulls, third and 9 for the 30 for the Raiders, George, to Napoleon Kopp, gets the hand outside the vest, it's Waterloo, he's gone, 70 yards! And just like that, the Raiders have pulled to it in 12 to 10. Come on, George! George straight back, looking to pass, fires for the end zone, caught for a touchdown! By James Jett. Jeff George completed 75% of his passes, including two for touchdowns, as the Raiders defeated the eventual... Tough, talented Jeff George, en route to the NFL passing yardage lead with nearly 4,000 yards, found Tim Brown seven times for 107 yards, and James Jett for two of his AFC leading 12 touchdown receptions. Again, the a nice throw into the turn end zone by Turner. Then George sacked by Ronaldo Turnbull. He grabs his rib cage, had to leave. Mike Ditka checking it out. Second quarter, no score. Raiders driving. Second 10, Jeff George to Ricky Dudley. Second most prolific receiver among tight ends in the AFC. Inside the 10 yard line, TJ helped yeah, himself and, out. And, and Dudley may be the most improved player in the league this year. He makes this nice catch. Rob Kelly tries to make the tackle. He has the strength to shrug him off and get inside the 10 yard line. Ditka's what? Third and goal now. George to Dudley. Nothing. Good play for the Saints, right? Bad play for the Saints. Later in the third, Williams from the pass, and he's into the end zone once more. George with the throw. George looking right. Now going to look left. He loops one out there. It is caught for a touchdown by James Gant. Jim Brown, short motion left. They line Dudley up on the line. George back to pass, throws short. It is caught for a wide open touchdown by Harvey Williams. The career best four touchdowns, tying a Raider record that had stood for 13 years. Speedster James Jeff continued to make spectacular plays, including one more of Jeff George's AFC best 29 touchdown passes. Third and five for the 24. Jeff George to Tim Brown. He burns Sam Madison, burns Dolly Madison. It's 24 yards, and it's 7-0 Oakland. No touchdown. So the drive continues. George to the corner of the end zone finds Olanda Truitt. Truitt, only his third catch this year, his first touchdown. TJ. Well, what a great throw, first of all. And Truett gets this score because Darrell Williams knocked him out of bounds. Even if he doesn't get the foot in, the referee ruled that he would have gotten it in. Oakland up 7-zip. Next possession, Jeff George off the play action, getting fizz nizzy with James Jett. From 37 yards out, Jett's 12th touchdown. <laughs> Chad Levitt, another bright young product of Raider scouting, got his first catch. And tight end Ricky Dudley added another touchdown to his impressive second season. Jeff George found 83 open in the end zone for Dudley's seventh touchdown. Everywhere on the field, and he ran that one inside. Yeah, here we go, James Jett. Booyah! 
Jet was looking for his 13th touchdown catch. Seven catches, a buck 16 in the game. Raiders next drive, second and 10. Jeff George hooking up with Tim Brown, eight yards, 589th career catch. Ties him on the Raider all-time list with the great Fred Belitnikoff, Super Bowl 11 MVP, the king of the stick'em. Third down, five yards to go. George looking for Brown. Money, 20 yards, Brown into the rank. R record books, 591st career. Raider receiving coach, Fred Blitnikoff giving up the props. Brown, 14 catches on the day. The offense powered for over 400 yards. Wide receiver Tim Brown started in high gear with six catches, 127 yards, and his 65th pro touchdown. Drops back to pass, five steps, and he wings one out left. Tim Brown got it! going to lob it. Complete. Tim Brown out of bounds. George down the sideline. Complete. James Jett for the touchdown. 75 yards. Well, they get a big one here. James Jett, good job by Jeff George. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He just lets it fly down the sideline. Kevin Smith in perfect position. The ball bounces up. James Jett takes advantage of it. On second and six, George down the middle, completes to Dudley. First quarter, Raiders 7-3. Trailing 7-3. Jeff George scrambles. Pulls up with a bad pain in the groin. He had to leave the game. Did not return. The Ravens loses a border of Jeff George. First start since week five. He's had the groin problem. He was back early. And boy, very early, he looked sharp. James Jett, 35 yards. But re-injured his groin later on in the drive. After the first series, he's out. 19-0 Detroit. Randall Cunningham on the bench. And here comes Jeff George. He has a big arm. Andrew Glover catches it for 30 yards. Four plays later. George to Chris Carter. All he does? Touchdown. 17 yards, 19 to 7. George says, you know, this is kind of fun. I, we can do this again. And he looks for Randy Moss. Pumps, throws, fires, caught. 36 yards, touchdown, 19 14. Four or five, two TDs at this point for George. Late third, same score, 19 14. George slants him off. Robert Bailey saves a touchdown, but it's 31. And leading Detroit next week. Well, Jeff George making his first start, 19 yards. Opening drive, two plays later. George. Randy Moss, look at the throw, look at the catch. It was only catch of the day for Randy, but it sets up a first and goal. George. Jake Reed. Out of bounds at the one. For twice since 1983. But here come the Vikings. George to Matthew Molly Hatchet. Some heavy metal. 80 yards. Vikings lead it 14 to 10. Minute left in the half after a field goal by San Francisco makes it 14-13. Boy, everybody got in the action, Tom. This is Andrew Jordan with a touchdown, 21-13. And partially blocking that punt. So the Vikings get the ball to 22, and George, well, you know what, I'm going to put the pads on later on. Chris Carter, all he does is get dressed and... Catch touchdown. Two-yard touchdown, 38-16. George has thrown three touchdown passes. <laughs> Bronco showing blitz and back out. There he goes. George going for Carter. Chris Carter, touchdown Vikings. Went right after Torrey James, like you suggested. Look at Christie, the center. Blitz comes, George. Throws oh, it up in the corner. Touchdown, down. Chris Carter. 16 yards. Carter beats Crockett for the second time today. Third down and goal. George throws back to the end zone. They get it. It's Moss making the catch for the touchdown. Blitz. And he gets one. And he throws, and it's caught by Carter, who gets inside Smith. Runs around Deion Sanders. Chased down by Deion. Caught by Deion. Flag at the end of the play. Shotgun. Going deep, going for Moss sooner or later. 
over their left and throw back to the right. It's a design play because of the arm strength of Jeff George. Charlie Williams outmatched by Randy Moss. 17 all, fourth quarter. Jeff George looking for Chris Carter. He already has two touchdowns. Flags coming on Terry Cousin. Remember the matchup? Later in the drive from the one. George to Chris Carter. All he does? Get that down. His third. 24-17 Minnesota. Vikings get the ball back with 43 seconds to go. Tommy, how can this happen on the slant to Randy Moss? Well, the quick slant and then the speed by Moss. You see him running right past the angles for about a 40-plus a yard gain there, and you start worrying about the football game at this point in regulation. After the timeout, two plays later, 23 seconds to go. Pump fake. George, he swings it so fast to Moss. Walt Harris prevents the touch up. She did the first play of the second quarter, but no, we fake the short one. Then deep to Randy Moss. Dimry, not bad coverage in second quarter. George. Down to the four-yard line, whoop, to Chris Carter. All he does, catch touchdown. Scored a field goal, and then the Vikings. Robert Smith flips it back to Jeff George, the flea flicker, to Chris Carter. All he does, catch touchdown. Two of them. That's not indisputable visual evidence. George throws, caught, touchdown. Academic, as it turns out, Chris Carter. And George goes down. George gets whacked by Chidi Ahanatu. A touchdown would cut it to seven. George over the middle, hatchet, touchdown. With another one. Blitz again, Moss one-on-one -on -one with Dishman. Touchdown. <laughs> You could see that one from the snap of the ball. And three. Vikings, third and one from the 43. Play action, Jeff George. For the man they called the freak in college, Randy Moss. Speed to burn, 57 yards. Now they go to Arizona, and Jeff George starting for the injured Brad Johnson. Supposedly the owner has wanted this all along, and George to James Thrash. 43-hour completion. This is what he sees with the rocket arm. George, for touchdown in NFL history. Steven Alexander, will, drilled by the cousin of the Swami, Kwame Lasseter. Alexander holds on to the ball, Tom. Well, oh, great no. concentration by Alexander, but what a marvelous throw by Jeff George. That's the throw that he can make. He gets it there so quickly, you actually have a chance to make that grab. Now, here's Steven Davis play action. Screen pass. Skins looking smart here. And this 39-yard play is going to set up a Chris Hugh Hefner field goal. Quickly set the pace for an all-out sprint towards the end zone. But for this strong-armed quarterback, the shortest distance between two points was through the air. Back is George. Bumps it once. Now he's going to the end zone for Thrash. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. 19-yard touchdown. Right at the center's near side. Horse race. Touchdown. Redskins have the lead for the first time tonight. He's got a lot of weapons. The most potent of these weapons is a cannon-like right arm, which connected with James Thrash, Larry Centers, and Irving Fryer. Number three continued to amaze, making throws rarely duplicated by anyone else playing the game. Throw it deep, got a man, caught, touchdown! What a beautiful pass. Perfect throw by Jeff George, just yes, absolutely right. perfect. Big play oh. by Jeff George. He drilled it, didn't he? Showed you his arm strength then. The return from injury of deep threat Michael Westbrook will help the vertical passing game in 2001. And the Redskins are more than equipped to handle the underneath routes. On comes Jeff George. Bam Channing. George in. Corner blitz, but James Thrash is there for George's bomb. 45 yards down to the five. Three plays later. Now you tell me, what is this, Broward County? They can't count. Is the play clock dead or what? Nobody sees it. And George hits Irving Fryer, knifing his way just over the goal line, five yards, and the Redskins are down now, nine to seven. Amazing. They didn't have to go after the Giants, punt the skins driving. George, Thrash, down to the 19. Eddie Murray, tying Barry Sanders, but it would get better for Emmett. Meanwhile, Jeff George, one and two as a starter. Champ Bailey playing wide out. All of a sudden, the skins unfurling some new plays.